So this is the current Mazda website for Singapore. As you can see, there are five many buttons at the top of the website. Home, About Us, Mazda Thinking, Mazda Owners, and Mazda Models. Surveys have shown that these labels are extremely big and does not provide the users with clear understanding of what their page is leading to. So, our recommendation, therefore, is to rename the menu descriptions to something that is more suited to the user's mental model and taking away repeated words such as Mazda. This can be seen in our new screen design of the website. There will also be a drop-down overview once the user hovers over the menu label to provide them with an overview of what the page may contain. For example, if you hover over Experience, you can see the various sub-menus in the drop-down. Currently, survey also shows strong dissatisfaction with the screen design of the website. Therefore, we will need to make major changes, which means changing the color palette from the original sky blue to a black color and shifting the focus of the website to the images of the master cars itself. From the old website, where the images of the car is at the bottom right, we will now change the focus to have the image of the car to be at the centerpiece instead. The old Singaporean website also does not cater to social media, which lowers the customer satisfaction and trust levels of the Mazda brand. Therefore, a recommendation will be to include three new social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. As this allows the users to enjoy a more fulfilling experience through the interaction with various Mazda fans worldwide. The Singaporean version also does not cater to certain demographics of Singapore by not giving the user the option to change the language of the website. To remedy this, we have included a language button at the top right-hand corner of the website. And when the user clicks on this, they will be given three language options, English, Mandarin, and Malay. When the user chooses Mandarin, for example, this will then The menu will be changed to suit that language. This will therefore increase the user's overall satisfaction of the website as it provides the user with more comfort in reading the information. There is also an issue with the use of metaphors in the current website. As you can see, the old website uses words like spirit, which might be offensive or unappealing to certain audiences. Therefore, a recommendation will be to use, remove the use of metaphors completely. Lastly, the current Singapore version displays the car's information and specifications in a PDF format. A better suggestion will be to reorganize the information into infographics. So, when the user clicks on the model of their choice, They will be led to a new page with all the information found on the web page itself. When the user clicks more, they will be shown a more detailed version of the technical specifications. They can also find the price and book a test on the page itself. We believe that these changes suggest suggested can resolve the issues that the Singapore Master website is currently facing. Implementing these changes can bring about greater visitor satisfaction as well as trust and loyalty. The US Master website is well organized, designed, and laid out. However, there are some features that could be changed in order to enhance the experience of the site for users across the country. First, there is no direct communication form between the customers and Mazda. Adding a live chat option for consumers will help each customer feel unique and special. This is great for countries with high individualism like in the United States. Another thing that Mazda can improve upon is the overwhelming number of images on the website. Because the images on the page are large and also rotating, this becomes the main focus of the website. Perhaps keeping the colors of the cars in the images to a less vibrant color can create a more cohesive and less distracting look. The navigation bar at the top is a little cluttered. 
Perhaps this problem could be alleviated if the website used a combination of horizontal and vertical space rather than just vertical. According to our survey, most participants gave the U.S. Moss site a high rating in terms of appearance and presentation. The black theme on the website indicates power and sophistication, and the touches of blue symbolize peace, wisdom, and honesty. We recommend incorporating more blue into the design of the site so that the black doesn't overpower the page. Incorporating the blue theme into the new live chat segment would be a great way to do this. This is the new screen design for the Mazda website. We've kept all of the same options across the top toolbar, but we've added a live chat option for our customers in the United States. This will help the customers better connect with Mazda, and it will ultimately give the company a higher customer satisfaction rate. We've also decided to move some of the choices from the top toolbar to the side left toolbar. This will space out the options and it won't keep it as cluttered as it was before. It will also help the customer find what they need more easily. We've changed the color of the car in the center of the website to silver. We think that this color will go better with the blue and black scheme and it's not as vibrant as the colors that they were using before. We've still kept the Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus options so that the customers can connect with the company and we've also kept the enter zip code at the top so that the customers can find what they need more easily. A uh, great job together as a team. And what we learn most from this entire project is culture. Basically, we always look forward to their meetings, uh, every time meetings uh, through Google Hangout. It's a good, good platform where I always look forward to meeting them because Apparently, because they have shown different kind of culture that um, we both of us can share for the, like, uh, the, the motivation to work. And we also see, notice certain cultural differences on the way on the United States compared to Singapore. For example, in some, some of the situation, uh, straight after the meeting, we will start working. As well as in Singapore style, usually during meetings, right, we will conduct, finish, then we have another session for, for the, the entire working of this. So we must on to it. Rachel, tell you. Okay, so the collabor collaboration tools that we used was Google Hangouts and Google Docs. So for Google Hangouts, we used it to meet each other online and discuss uh, how we're going to go about doing the, the project. And for Google Docs, we used it to uh, collaborate with each other on documents in real time which was very useful despite the distance. Yeah. Okay, as for scheduling of global meetings, we were actually pleasantly surprised because we heard a lot of stories about how uh, people in the US did the work on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays, but apparently uh, that wasn't the case for our team. The people at CMU, they were really cooperative. So the tools that we used were Facebook. So generally we plan our meetings on, schedule, uh, on Facebook and uh, the good thing was everyone was on time and everyone agreed to meet. Um, on a fixed timing and no one was late. So uh, in terms of scheduling meetings, we don't really have a problem and there wasn't really anything to recommend uh, as in what can be done better. So all in all, we really enjoy working with the CMU team and if there's a chance, we hope that we can do it again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. One of the recommendations I would give to future teams and students is to go through all the requirements in the instructions and assign specific tasks to your teammates so everything that needs to be in the deliverable is covered and you will also avoid repeating work or missing critical information at the last minute. It will also help your group function more effectively. I think our group worked really well together as a team and a major factor of our success was uh, Facebook Messenger because we were able to send short, quick messages at all hours of the day. Hello, my name is Clara from Carnegie Mellon University and I would like to share some of the insights that I have gained from this project. To begin with, despite the time difference and the distance between our group members, the completion of this project was made possible by various communication platforms such as Facebook, Google Drive and Google Doc. I believe our group did a very good job working on the survey and the analysis of the results. We came up with questions as a team and spent good amount of time brainstorming about how to go about strategically collecting relevant data. Also our group did a very good job executing the work. 
while our approach was unconventional in the sense that we did not assign specific tasks to specific team members, we were able to work on pretty much everything together, executing all tasks with an agile approach. The best aspect, however, was that both the US and Singapore sides of the team worked in coherence with Harmony, and it never felt like we were two separate entities attempting to collaborate, thanks to the initial step of introductions. One of the things I think we could have done better looking back is having an agenda for the meetings. We often came together for a video conference to discuss what we were going to do next, rather than planning ahead through emails and actually getting work done during the conference calls.